Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So it's Thursday, and Thursday means one thing. We've got a new and exciting update from the Space Engineers developers, and you're probably wondering what you'll be getting your hands on this week. Well, I have to say, it's quite exciting. There's two new features that have been added, or you could say tweaked. The first one is the sky above me. You can actually see the skybox for the standard game has been changed ever so slightly. It's less grey, it's less sort of vertex. We've got little star clusters, far away galaxies, little stars we've got over there. Just a really nice, beautiful update on the skybox. And we've also got this interesting block. Now, you're probably wondering, what is that? Is that a dog food bowl? No, it's not a dog food bowl. It is a speaker. A speaker, you say? What can you do with one of them? Well, first off, if we bring it up in our G menu, you can actually see it's located here, and it's called the sound block. So what can the sound block do for us, you're probably wondering. So let's go to this menu and find ourselves a sound block. And here we go, we have a sound block, and that's the actual sound block that we've got next to us there. Now, we've got two options here. We've got volume, and we have range. So this means we can actually set the volume of our speaker as well as the range of how far it's going to broadcast that sound through space. Now it is a 3D speaker, and I'll show you that a little bit later on, but I'll just show you the list of sounds that we've got. So first off, we have lights on. Very simple, very effective, straight to the point. Now we have lights off. Let's listen to that again. We have enemy detected. Now that sounds a lot like the CNC enemy detected. Very interesting, very fun. Now, objective complete. objective complete. Now, that means you could probably use that for some sort of mini mission series that you could be building in Space Engineers. Alert 1, let's listen to that. Okay, that's quite standard, so we'll stop that. You can also see I've got it looped here, so we can actually keep that voice or keep that sound repeating for that set amount of time until it's either stopped or it runs out of the minutes. So you can have it all the way up to 30 minutes all the way down to a measly one second. So let's put it up to about 10 seconds, 20 perhaps, and we'll listen to the next sound. So that's quite an interesting sort of alert. Maybe something's coming towards your ship and you need to evade it. Quite interesting as well. So let's pause that. Let's go to alert three. Okay, now that, that's quite an interesting one. I can't really tell exactly what that is. Sounds like some sort of voice, but apparently it's an alarm. So, and then we've got music. So, we've got music one. So, we could be rocking out on our base with some classic Space Engineers tunes. And if we stop that, we have music two. So, select music two and press play. So, we have a more dramatic, immersive sort of experience for maybe exploring that base. But you could do so many things with this. And I'm sure the modding community here do not allow it to actually put your own voice over it. Maybe like an intercom system. How cool would that be? You're speaking to a speaker at one point And it's broadcast through all these around the base. Now that is an interesting feature I would like to see. Now let's move on to some of the different ideas of things. So over here in this room. The question you're probably wondering is. Do walls actually stop the sound from actually being produced? So we'll close that door back up. I'll press play. You can actually hear the sound in there and we've set that to a distance you can also hear the 3d if i rotate left speaker right speaker okay now i've got the door closed but it's still echoing in echoing out so let's put a block in front of that no so these walls are not stopping that sound from actually escaping rather interesting rather interesting indeed we'll stop that there now you could also use this for some sort of airlock so say, for instance, we've got an airlock here we can see, but maybe we're up at the bridge and we're not watching this. Some intruder or someone walks in. You walk in, the alarm goes off, signaling that someone's entered your airlock. You instantly know that you need to either lock the doors or you can send a search party down to kill that guy. So we'll come out of there. Or you could even use it for something like this. Very simple, using that light on and light off setting. So you can see as we've opened them doors up, the lights have gone on in our little storage bay. Very smooth, very sort of unique. You can walk in here, you could file away your equipment. And then you can leave, and we'll use another one. So lights off, lights power down slowly, doors are closing. Just really nice fun, and that little voice adds so much to your base. I mean, I can imagine lots of different sound packs being added from many other sort of space games, or even movies. Different sorts of the voices that some of the AI or the systems have. Now, you could also use it for a sort of defense system where maybe it projects sort of projectiles coming in and it blocks them and gives you a warning of a sort of sound. But you could also use it as something like this. 
So I'm going to go into first person for this. I've actually tuned this up with a light to go with the speakers that I've just quickly roughly mounted on the top. You can see there of the Henry. And we're just going to lift off the ground. And this is actually a proximity scanner. So imagine you're navigating in here and you're going to clip the wall, but you don't actually know. So I'm in first person here. I don't know I'm going to clip that wall. And maybe I'm getting a bit too close to it and I'm going to ram it perhaps. And then my proximity scanner goes off. My lights are flashing. And I'm like, oh no, right, better get away from that wall before I hit it. So I'll pull back away. Proximity scanner goes off and I'm fine. So then maybe I go too far the other way. And as I'm heading over to the other wall, I can't see it because my engine bay's in the way. Goes off again, signals the light saying that I'm going to hit it. And it brings it back. Now I've set these sensors up so I could actually land this thing without proximity scanners going off. So they're just a little bit above the actual landing gears. But if I do tilt the nose down like this, the proximity scanner will go off if I'm going to hit straight on like so. But most of the circumstances, I've just left it like that. Now, this has been quite an interesting little patch, and I can't wait to get some more unique and maybe custom sounds. Maybe I could um, maybe put some audio from my own bass in there, like, warning, warning, get out. Or maybe even play some soundtracks from classic sort of um, space series, like maybe Space 1999, or even like Invaders. Or maybe like the Mr. On sort of theme tune. I don't know. It, it could be quite exciting to have a mess around with this block and see what sound is that you can actually mod. You can also rock out to your favorite tunes if you know how to add them into this little speaker. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And I can't wait to see what you guys are going to do with this sound block.